present something good, attractive. It's not enough to say, oh, I am a priest, no. It's, it's not, you have to prove that it is, you are happy, you, you, you know. Those who, the, 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 the son of darkness are more astute than the son of light sometimes, no. Jesus said that. <laughs> sometimes they are more. But, but all those who want to sell their, their products or their, their uh, religious conviction, they try to teach you will be happy. I remember in 1967 at the Montreal exhibition, the Expo Montreal, you know, 40 million came to visit them. The Mormon, the Mormon, they have a beautiful, beautiful uh, uh, center, a beautiful one. And what they prove that, you know, if they are Mormon, they are happy. Everything was beautiful. And they have movie people want to say, oh, I will become a Mormon, you know. They, they prove, they try to prove to people, to convince that something good, not only to know what is a Mormon, but to, to know what is a Catholic, it's not enough. To prove that to be a Catholic, you are happy, you are happy, you, have, you find the, the reason to live, to live, etc. That is, that is the secret of publicity, is the secret of appetite. If there is no perception of the good in the thing, I will not be attracted by that. Okay? So teaching is not enough. Teaching virtue is not enough. In the proof of that in, in, in school law. They teach justice to lawyer. Huh? Or every, is every lawyer after is honest? <laughs> of course, I don't want that. No, but that is, it's not this is enough to preach. You know, the difference between a, 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 a professor of theology and a preacher. Professor of theology, he gives the thing, you know. The preacher must convince the people. He must prove that if they want to love Jesus, they have to do, they have to, to give to the collection. <laughs> it is for their, huh? Yes. Preach is not only to teach the same thing, it's not only to give a subject. It is, uh, we see in French, vente la marchandise. Vente, it is, it is more than to tell, it is to convince. And we see the best dealer, they are those who can sell a refrigerator to an Eskimo. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> prove to the Eskimo that they need a refrigerator. You know? It is good for them. <laughs> that is. Exactly, that is happy That is the will, that is the, the. And when we preach, when we teach, when we educate, the, we, the parent, for example, the problem of the parent is it is that. And it is difficult, it's more difficult to, to convince the, of the good of the thing than to expose only what is the thing, you know? Um, so physical, okay, I know. Now, uh, the effect of sensitive appetite. So we have a physical uh, effect. Huh? But to study that, I will go first to page 188 here. I will make only <coughs> a, a, a short reflection between feeling, emotion, and passion. Huh? Feeling, emotion, and passion. And I give you a, a kind of chart to compare them. A feeling is something vague. An emotion, we can identify the, the object provoking the emotion. And the passion, the object also is identified. For example, you, you, are, you wake in the morning and say, I don't feel well. I don't feel well. You don't know why, but you, you know you don't feel well. So it is vague. You don't know exactly the reason why you don't feel well. Now, yeah. uh, in emotion, you cry, you know why you cry. Huh? You receive the bad news, you, you cry. Or huh? oh, good news. <laughs> but it's rare that we cry when we receive the eh? <laughs> Sensory <laughs> appetite now. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, okay. Uh, it, it, there is a vague, and the feeling is a vague inclination, huh? or a vague a tendency or aversion. Very vague. And the characteristic of feeling is something vague. But emotion is precise. 
It has me a need and me a desire, you know? And passion, what is the difference in the intensity? Uh, intensity, the, that paper, you know? That um, feeling is not acting a lot on you. You feel, but you know. But emotion, immediately you have a reaction in your body. Huh? Either you, 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 you cry, or you laugh, or you shake, or you have goosebumps. Huh? Uh, your hair are dressing, <laughs> right, uh, uh, like a, por a porcupine huh? on your head. Huh? That is emotion. The passion, it is an emotion, but very, very, very strong. So strong that sometimes we lose the usage of our mind. Not, if, not every time, many times. Okay? But that is a first uh, thing. Now, you go to page uh, 181b, that page here. Okay? I gave you here the text I use in Philosophy of Man in the other class. You have that? Yeah. Page 181b. Okay, I will use that to explain. No, it's uh, 185. 185 for you? Okay. I, okay. I have to cover that. Okay. So, um, my chalk. I have an appetite for chalk. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will can't, uh, so that is my, uh, my intuition. I should have a copyright for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, you know, uh, what is an emotion? In every emotion, there is three components. Well, the first component, indispensable, it is knowledge or awareness. Knowledge. Or awareness. To know something. If there is no, no knowledge, there is no emotion. Uh, when I was in Cameroon, a, a sister, she was the nurse of the, at the dispensary tradition. Uh, in the morning, she told us when she woke up, there was a snake around her feet. Of course, above the, <laughs> above the blanket, but the snake was there. So, you know, if, if that happened to you, you know what you have to do. Don't move. <laughs> Don't move. And the snake was very, very well. Huh? He was there around. He was. So, not move. But when she was aware of that, she became afraid. She has emotion. You cannot have an emotion if you don't know the danger or the good. So, that is the first condition. It is a condition. But the, the fact of seeing a snake is not necessarily the cause of, a, of, a, of a emotion. I give you another example. Uh, we received at our mission a brother, a Christian brother from Douala. He was a, he te he was a teacher there, and he, he made a collection of snakes. Uh, I went in his room, we have a lot of pocket with snakes, 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 snake. every kind of snake. He studied snakes. And he knew very well how to, 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 to catch a snake. He has a technique. He arrived, he was able to take the snake. The snake turned around, but you know, no problem. He has controlled the head, you know. So when he did that, he was not afraid at all. But the, 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 our African cook, the audience were here, they were terrified. <laughs> terrified, they were dying. <laughs> when they saw the brother taking, you know, for the brother, there is no. Emotion, and for the African, they were terrified. Why? Because for the, the for the, uh, the African, there is a danger. Here. Uh, if they are beaten by the snake, they will die. Uh, so they say uh, there must be some good. It is the good. Uh, that provoke emotion, or that sense of good. Are you good or that sense of good? You know? Because it is a good to continue to live and not to be beaten by a, a viper or by a, a, a snake. Huh? So it, we have must avoid. Huh? But for the brother, it was the contrary. For him, it was a good to catch the snake and to, to take it and to put it in the, in the box. It was a good for him. 
So the same object for one was frightening, the other was he was very happy with that. You know, he was at least like a with a he was like a pet for him. You know? But what happened to my 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 friend an African? They were crying. Huh? They are physical reactions. Or physiological reactions, or physical contact. They cried, they were afraid. I remember, I said that very well. <gasps> totally afraid, huh? totally afraid. You know? You receive a good news, what, what happened? You smile. Huh? You receive a bad news, now you cry, or you uh, you, you etc. You eat something that is not pleasant. You like that? Mm. No. Physiological, physical reaction. That is a component of an emotion. If you don't have a physical, a physiological reaction, modification, modification in your body is not an emotion. So it is a component. But is, it is, of course, the first thing we see. No? We see we, 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 uh, the people, they laugh or they cry. Or, okay. That is the physical stuff. But why? Why? Because they, there is a good or there is an evil. Uh, something not good or something good. If I am filled with joy, uh, when you receive uh, your grade, uh, uh, or you receive a letter from the bishop, you see, I will ordain you the permanent deacon, the 8th of December uh, 2020. <laughs> ah, and you present that to your wife, and your wife, oh, God, one brace, are so happy. That's it. Why? Because of that. So, what is the central, uh, the central, the center of any emotion? The good. The perception of the good. As long as there is no perception of the good, there is no emotion. First to know a good. And when we perceive the good, we react. But what we see, first, most of the time, we see, oh, emotion, because he cried. In fact, that is the consequence of that here. So we can say that uh, the perception of the good is the formal, uh, the formal part of the emotion, and the physical is the material aspect of emotion. Huh? And what is the knowledge? It is the condition. Huh? It is the catalyst. Huh? The catalyst will provoke the reaction. Okay? So we can know huh, uh, something without any emotion. We can know something with emotion. For example, you go to a foreign country. Huh? Foreign country. In Cameroon, for example. Canada. Canada. <laughs> and you see many flags. Uh, and suddenly you see a lot of stars with uh, many, many, many bars. No? Did you feel that? Uh, did you feel that? Yes. Ah, emotion. Why? Because you know something that is good for you and that provokes an emotion. Uh, those who are grandfather and grandmother among you, and the first time you yeah. see, you <laughs> see your first uh, grandchild, what happened? Emotion. Emotion. Why? Because you saw something good for you. Even if after that you have to spend many hours to, to, <laughs> to be the babysitter. <laughs> yeah. It is a good thing to say when people is ordained a priest. It is a great joy. A great joy to have. That is the, the analysis of the, uh, of the okay? Well, you can read the text. The text of Father Reichman is very, very well done. And uh, I don't have time to explain that, but I give you the essential. Huh? The essential. Another thing, also interesting, uh, it is not in, with Father Wallace, but I, I take the opportunity to express that. That, is, that proof 
the intimate relation between body and soul. Intimate relation between body and soul. Even a spiritual good, a spiritual good can provoke a great joy. For example, as a priest, sometimes some people arrive, they say, Father, I did not want to confession for 35 years. Well, so they confess. And many times that person is filled with joy, cry. It is spiritual. Even a spiritual good can provoke a physical emotion. It is the reason why I think in the liturgy we should share, not only with our mind, we should share with our body. The, the sign of peace now is because of that. We are not angel. And you look at the sun, and cry, shout, play the tambourine, huh? the castrated from Teresa of the Villa, huh? the castrated the monastery. Why? Because even for a spiritual good, we can express that through our own body. Why? Because we are one. And on Easter, on Easter, what happened in the church on Easter? Everybody sing Hallelujah. Huh? We sing with our body, but we sing because a good that is spiritual. The resurrection of Jesus, the salvation of man is a spiritual good. And we sing, we, we are happy, huh? and we sing, Alleluia, Christmas is coming, it's the same. The motivation for the Christian is the incarnation of Jesus, the, the good, the salvation, and what we express that to our job. We are one. The same, you know, re remember when you were studying mathematics, and you, you work on a problem. Suddenly, you understood what happened. You smile. Sometimes it's funny when I observe a student passing their, their test. I observe something. He, he understood. He, he can, you know. He's happy because he found the solution. You know? That is a good proof we are one. One body. One in our body and soul. We are not separate. That is against the cap. We want to separate the body and the soul. Okay, I come back to the text. So, uh, all that. I go to page 182. The, um, I have a few minutes for that. In fact, I have also a part next to so. um, <clears throat> well, We have a word about concupiscible appetite, sin, uh, irascible appetite. <coughs> Um, that is the difficult and the arduous, uh, the arduous, the, the concupiscible appetite is more for what is pleasant, uh, what is pleasant, or suitable pleasant, uh, pleasant, okay? Um, the, so there's six emotions, you have that, page 182, six emotions from the concupiscible appetite. The first emotion is love, love in the more general meaning, uh, okay? It is the first impulsion, the first impulse emotion. It is the fundamental, the foundation of all the other emotions. In fact, the, the, the love is the act of the will. Love is the act of the will. So if I, am te I accept to tempt our good, or not to tempt our good, huh? love is, the f if I don't love, I, I stop there. It's like the electric car. Huh? It is on or it is out. The first, the first uh, emotion, central uh, uh, appetite, the first central appetite is love. I love or I don't love. <laughs> I like or I don't like. In all the art of publicity, the publicity, the art of preaching, the art of writing, etc., is to make people love something, like something. In English, we say love and like, but in fact, many languages, it's the same word. For Latin, it's amour, huh? same thing. Huh? Um, so love huh? uh, is a desire. But be careful, or say, because desire in, um, in uh, philosophy, in a scholastic philosophy, is more, is, is not on the, it is not on the level of the will, it is on the level of emotion. Um, after the, the creation, I will explain the difference between uh, the desire, 
tendency and uh, the, the act of the will. Of course, in, in we say God desires that I become a saint. But it, strictly speaking, God cannot desire. Why? Because to desire, that means you want. What is to want in English, the meaning of want? I want something because I lack something, no? You know, in the, in the, in the Psalm 23, huh? God in my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Does God can want? No. no. God can will, he cannot want. <laughs> There's a big difference. But in the language, many times we, we use the word desire for the word to will. For example, we say, I desire to become a permanent deacon. But that is the level of emotion. Strictly speaking, if when you study here, you, 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 you have more than the desire. You have the will to become independent. You know? So strictly speaking, we should speak about the will, to will, when we are on the level, the level of spiritual reality. Huh? A lack of the will. A want is more on the level of desire, sense, knowledge, sense, appetite, okay? So let us take uh, 15 minutes of, because your appetite indicates you that it's time to take a rest. Right. Okay. 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 Okay.